Hello, wonderful internet world. I am back to look at with you some new markers. I recently got a whole bunch of really cool art supplies and um, not really art supplies, but stationary supplies. Some journals. I'll show you my sets. I've got some of these, some of these, all the fun stuff. Um, I've got the Sharpies. I recently did the Mr. Sketch combo pack. I've got the Sharpie combo pack today. I've got a couple other packs that I'm going to get to in another video, hopefully not too far off in the distant future. Um, but today, today, um, you lucky viewers, we are going to go through the limited edition Sharpie pack, which I got on Black Friday for, I don't know what, I didn't even care. It was like $15 and I love Sharpie, so it could have been like $15 and I probably still would have bought it. All right, let's check this out. So the paper I'm going to be testing these out on, this is a dot journal because coming up to 2019, I would like to try and figure out what kind of dot journal I want to use for my next year. And I loved this bigger one, but it's got kind of a flimmy, flimsy, flippy, flimsy words cover. So I was a little nervous. So we're going to try it out. We're going to test out some markers on it. Um, it's got thicker paper than the other one I was looking at, um, but pretty similar to the one I've been using this year. So we'll see how it goes. This is from Artist Loft. It's got this cool, like, elastic thing and two bookmarks and good stuff. So we'll see how it holds up to a Sharpie because Sharpies are probably one of my favorite writing supplies to use. Um, all right, so let's check out our markers. This is a 44 count. Oh, it's a 44 piece set. It's 38 markers plus six bonus coloring pages. I always think it's silly when they do that. Um, but one of the things I was looking forward to is it's got six metallic markers. So usually you get the copper, the silver, and the gold, but it's got a red, blue, and green metallic in here as well. It's a mix of fine and ultra fine point, 16 of each, six metallic fine point, and then your six bonus coloring pages. So we've got this beautiful Sharpie art on the front. It's definitely alien-esque. And if you wanted to color it in on your own on the back, here's an option. They probably have a coloring page of it too. But I just want to get a close-up really quick because I love it when they put the names of the Sharpies where you can find them because I never know. I have so many Sharpies. I never know which one is which. And sometimes their caps are not the most distinguished, um, different colored caps. I love the names of the red, green, and blue metallic. We've got metallic emerald, metallic sapphire, and metallic ruby because that's beautiful. So these are our colors, our ultra fine shades, our fine shades, and our metallic shades. Let's see what's in the box. I did cut this just before I started filming because sometimes trying to open a box on camera is not so much fun. And um, just so everyone knows, not that I suppose it matters, I am actually really terrible at editing videos, so I'm trying to figure out how to do one take so I can start recording, finish recording, and upload the video instead of trying to go in and do lots of changes. So before we get into the exciting part of the markers, let's look at the coloring pages. Oh, they're all stuck together. Look at what kind of coloring pages we got. Maybe. Ha! Huh. All right. First three, we've got, <laughs> we've got Gleep floating through space with uh, some interesting things going on in his belly. These guys and this critter taking a bite out of a bite out of the galaxy. They are perforated together, so you know a quick bend. Let's see, are they hard to get apart? Oh no. And they're nice and thick. They're really thick cardstock paper, so definitely intended for the Sharpies that you're gonna use them on use with them, presumably, if you buy this kit. Um yeah, because Sharpies definitely definitely bleed. 
All right, a few more space-themed illustrations. Let's see. So we've got <laughs> the traditional um, spaceship picking up cows. This friendly critter here. And these two lovely friends. Um, surprisingly, though, none of them are of the cover art, which I was totally sure was going to be in here. So I guess you'll actually have to color the back of the box if you really want to color that one. It seems like in the past when I've gotten them sets like this, the cover art is always one of the coloring sheets as well. So those are separated. Six lovely coloring sheets you know, for all your free time. For those of you like me with none, I like to photocopy, photocopy them or hand them out to my students. So, all right, let's, let's dig in. We've got two trays of colors, all of our fine points up here, all of our ultra fine, and then our metallics. Whoop, there they go flying away. Markers have been freed from captivity. And let's sort our ultra fine and fine tip. Alrighty. And then as we go through and swatch these and see what they look like on the paper, I will put them in order. Because if I wasn't going to put them in order, this would probably make me crazy. Let's put our metallics in between because I definitely want to give them their own kind of looking at because I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited about some of these metallics. This is going to be good fun. All right, so my last video I started with, no, oh, what did I start with? I think I started with blue. I think we'll start with blue. All right, so this is, again, this is my Artist Loft dot paper journal. So we're just going to give it, give it a good run through. I think we'll start with the all fine tip and then do our, and so we start with our metallics and then do our regular fine tips and our ultra fine tip. So we'll do some Sharpie metallic. That's all it says. All right, let's start with some metallic ruby. Give it a nice big block and some lines. It is actually very shiny when you get it at the right angle. I'm not sure if it's even possible to show that on camera, but maybe if I twist it so, I mean, for me, my lamp, is over here and so when I tilt it towards the lamp I can just see the light reflecting off of it beautifully hopefully you get some of that on camera all right let's try out our green this is sharpie metallic emerald they have a really nice firm tip which is good every now and then you get a sharpie that's kind of meh. But these are nice. And some ruby. Oh, I think I called this one the wrong one. This is sapphire. So sapphire, emerald, and ruby. All right, let's show those off again. The ruby is a little streakier than the other ones. I wonder if it'll get juicier as I use it. Mm, very nice. And then our three more traditional colors. We have our gold, silver, and bronze. 
and we'll do those just below. So here's our bronze. I love these markers. And our silver. And last but not least, gold. All right, one more time with all of the colors on there. The metallic sheen. Ooh. All right, so then let's get into our fine point. So we'll do our Sharpie. Fine points. All right, so we'll start with our light blue. And I may just look up the colors on these as I go through them. So this is going to be, I, I called it light blue. It's actually turquoise. So we've got some turquoise. I'm going to scoot these over here out of the way. We've got turquoise. And then a more traditional blue called by Sharpie blue. Very deep. So some blue there. And then we've got this bluish green, which I believe is the aqua. Mmm, some aqua here. And then going into a light green, this is called lime. And it very much looks like a lime green. I love um, when you first open a box of fine point Sharpies because I don't know if you guys can see that. The tip on this is so fine. Like you use these for a month and, and it'll be all dull and not so good for small things. But right now, ah, it's beautiful. You can get tiny, tiny lines with that. Too bad it doesn't last. All right, this is just green or a darker shade here green alrighty so from green let's head into some purple and this is this is purple that's the name of the color purple and then our lighter shade of purple is lilac All right, and let's go from our lilac to this shade. I believe this is berry, which is like a purpley pink. I don't know. Ready, purpley pink. Yeah, sure. This is berry. And then we have a uh, pink lemonade. Your nice traditional pink, very pastel, not a neon pink at all. And then let's go to some red. This is red, shocker, red. And then we've got some orange, again, Shockingly called orange. These are very basic names. The ultra fine tips do not have very many with common names like red and purple and orange, which is interesting because all of the ultra fine or the fine tips do. And into yellow. Yes, very yellow. And then we've got some of our kind of oddball browns and grays. And this is like a, 
What is this? This is almond. I'm saying this is like almost like a skin tone or an attempt at a skin tone by Sharpie, but it's almond, which is a lightish tan brown color. And then we'll do our darker brown. Again, ingeniously named brown. Boop, boop, boop. Three little lines. And then into our, this is navy. I maybe should have done this up here with the blues. I thought it was gonna be a gray, I'll be honest. Navy. And then I'm really sad because I want to have nice even rows and I've just run out of room for the almighty black. So I'm actually going to swatch it up here because I don't want to go down the next row because I want to do my fine tips there. So black. Ta-da. So there's our Sharpie fine point colors. And if you're familiar with Sharpies at all. Like, they perform like Sharpies. Brand new box of Sharpies. You'll love the first time I open the Sharpies. Uh, let's take a look and see how the fine tips did. <laughs> oh, they're a disaster. With our paper. Um, our metallics actually look okay. Our um, ultra, our fine tips definitely bled through. And you can see that they very much marked the other side. Um, I think I'm going to put a piece of paper in here before I do the next set. Just because... Um, if you look on the back, you can see how that green bled through the back, but it hasn't bled onto the next page yet. So we'll keep it that way. So definitely, um, the artist loft bullet paper with Sharpies may not be the best, the best idea for, um, a journaling combination, but Sharpies are always hard because they really are a very permanent marker and, and they're very juicy and they tend to um, draw with power. All right, let's bring over my ultra fine tips because these are the ones I actually color with the most. I love Sharpies. I color mostly when I color for pleasure, which I do um, quite a lot. Um, my medium of choices, Sharpies in, you know, just not usually kids coloring books. I actually like, there's some really cool adult coloring books now. Um, but, um, oh, I just skipped the L ultra fine. I should focus ultra fine point are the colors, are the Sharpies I prefer to use. But I always put paper behind them because they bleed like crazy. So we're gonna start about the same as we did on the last set. I feel like two, four, they said they were 16 of each, so it should be the same number of colors. So we're gonna start with our lightest blue, which I believe is this one, but I'm not sure which one of these is blue ice and which one is sky. I believe this is sky. I'm going to go with this one being sky. We'll see how well it matches what's on the box. So. I think it's sky. Let's see what this one looks like because maybe that'll make it easier to tell. All right, so definitely sky and blue ice. So sky and then blue ice. And then our next one is called brilliant blue. Like I said, the ultra fine tips are much, ooh, stuck, uh, much more creative. There we go in their naming, um, a lot less blue, green, red, orange, but I suppose brilliant blue isn't actually too far from blue. <laughs> brilliant blue, brilliant. All right. And then we have our bluish green here, which is jet set jade. 
Yes, Jot Set Jade, because you're going places. Mm-hmm. And our light blue, which is called Mint, not light blue, our light green. So we went from our blue green, Jet Set Jade, to our light green, Mint. Very nice. I am noticing that there's not a lot of overlap in shades. So we have like this mint, but the closest we have up here is this lime. And then we have turquoise, which is kind of like the Jet Set Jade, but they're not really the same. So you actually have not just 16 colors. You might actually end up with close to 38 colors because I'm also noticing there's no black in the Ultra Fine which means that the slate gray that we have over here is gonna be the closest you have to black. So you may actually end up with quite a diverse range of colors from this, this set. And that's pretty cool, because I was expecting, to be honest, um, just 16 of the same color in both tips. So I'm, I think it's really cool that they did that. Um, this is Intergalactic Indigo. This one definitely is more in line with the theme of the box with the space alien UFO idea. And then we have a lighter shade, which is Boysenberry. That's so much fun to say, Boysenberry. And so pretty. Fun to say and pretty. But I am partial to purples. And then we've got this purpley red I think I'm going to do next is called Rocket Fuel Red. Come down here with this one. Ooh, that is a, a deep red that's beautiful rocket fuel red and then let's go into our pinks start with our hot pink which is called now I'm not sure if this is power pink or magenta because I've got my rocket fuel red and then this is going to be pink and one of these is going to be power pink and one of these is going to be magenta Let's see what they look like. I think this might actually be the magenta. And then this one, our power pink. Well, you look at the box you've got magenta which I think looks more like that and power pink although it could be the other way I don't know one of them is magenta and one of them is power pink and then pink which is the most boring name we've come across yet And then from the pink, we get Racy Red. I put it down and I stopped, I hesitate, because I'm like, oh, is this red or is this orange? Did I miss it? Am I wrong? I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is actually Racy Red. Because even on the box, it's got a bit of an orange hint to it. And then... Orion Orange here. That's a little bit of a brownish orange. I'm not, I don't think I feel like I, I don't feel like I've seen that before with, with Sharpies. And then this one is Tangerine. A very down to earth color compared to Orion Orange and Galactic, what was it? Galactic Indigo. Okay, this one we have Super Sonic Yellow. Let's 
Oh, it's got a bit of a green tint to it. It's pretty though. And then I'm going to sneak up above and keep everything all even because because that's what I like. And here's our slate gray. All right, well, let's take a closer look. So here's our ultra fine point. I think I changed my mind, though. I'm pretty sure this is power pink and this is magenta pink, racy red, Orion orange, whatever that, tangerine, supersonic yellow. Beautiful colors. I love, I just love, I love Sharpies. I might be a Sharpie fan girl. You can see they definitely um, come through the paper, not quite like the fine tips do. And just so you can see, this is the paper I stuck behind it. And I think a little bit of one of the purples came through. That's about it. So if you're going to do any kind of bullet journaling with um, Sharpies, uh, you definitely are probably going to be better off with the fine, ultra fine point and um, using a bit of paper to protect your sheet the next sheet of your journal and you will only be working on one side of your journal if you choose a paper like something like this um so there you go we've got some gorgeous metallics i'll give you a little shine of those before you go um 16 unique fine point colors 16 unique ultra fine point colors there are no repeats so as i was going through i definitely was looking and um, you end up with 32 unique colors plus, plus your six, um, metallic colors. So for a total of 38, not just 38 markers, but 38 unique shades of marker, which is pretty cool. Cause in the past, like I said, in the past I've gotten Sharpies and, um, felt like I've gotten a lot of repeats of the ultra fine and the fine point. And this one, they're all unique colors and um, you can definitely see looking at them on on the paper that some of them don't have a huge difference but they're all definitely different shades you are not getting the same color by another name um, and while like I said some of them are close none of them are identical so ah anyway thanks so much for joining me as I got to um fangirl out on my sharpies there um if you enjoyed this video don't forget to feel free to like and subscribe check out my other videos i don't post on a weekly basis i post <laughs> on school breaks because i am a teacher first i teach first and second grade and i love my job um but <laughs> hence the um love of stationary, I suppose. Um, but feel free to check out the other videos. Every break, I try to post a few things. Um, sometimes things I've recorded some time ago and just haven't gotten around to editing. Also, um, just so you know, I am trying to do more of my videos in one take. So to avoid having to go back and edit because I'm pretty terrible at video editing. And honestly, with two kids and um, a full-time teaching position. I don't always have the time for it. So some of those videos just never make it up because it takes too long to go back through them. So, um, anyways, like I said, if you enjoyed this, like, and subscribe. Um, I'm so glad you could join me again. And this is Elizabeth and I'm with in creative solutions and you're welcome to follow me on my other accounts. Um, I'll try to keep some information in the description box. Um, but bye-bye for now. See you next time.